Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody is having a great day. Maybe we're starting to get some positive news for the Dallas Cowboys in this offseason of our discontent. So right now, um, I'm actually in the process of uploading my morning video where I'm talking about... Um, Stephen Jones saying that there's some movement, uh, or not, not, I won't say movement, maybe movement is too strong, but they're having positive conversations with Todd France as well as Dak Prescott on getting their deal done, and he goes into detail on that, and if you watch the video, you can hear exactly what he said on that. It takes uh, some time for the videos, my morning videos, to upload and stuff, and while I was uploading it, I came across another positive piece of news for the Cowboys, and here, let, let me put this clip up here, because this is great seeing Diggs. Maybe Diggs is in better shape than what we let on, because you see him. He does have that block sleeve um, on his knee that is done. But to, he's working on his plyometrics here, being able to jump over the hurdles there, and does not seem to have any indications of any issues with uh, the knee itself. So um, hopefully, you know, they're going to probably take it easy on him in training camp and ramp him up slowly but surely. But this is definitely positive news. Now, the thing about this is, depending on how Diggs responds in training camp, how, how good it is, how well you think that he's going to be able to play, and how soon, and what level, will dictate whether or not the Cowboys make a move for Stephon Gilmore. Now, Stephon Gilmore is looking for a two-year deal. Teams are kind of shying away from that because they look at his age, even though he played great for us last year. He's also looking for a starting gig. The problem for the Cowboys is you've got Diggs and you've got Bland, who surprisingly both were left off of the NFL executives' top 10 list. And one of the reasons why they say they left Diggs off of it was it could be because of injury issues and concerns. And it's kind of like he played two games and played great. But Aaron Rodgers was still up there on the list, and he played six plays, five plays. So what kind of bull jiggity is this that we're getting? Um, and Deron Bland, I'll give, give it to you that a fifth-round pick who played above and beyond what anybody thought still has a lot to learn, but is a pick magnet and is now the most pick six player in the history of the NFL. But somehow you have to look at that and say that turnovers are game changers and he was a game changing defensive back. To leave both of those guys off the list, that's some bullshit. But hey, I'm just happy to see the workout videos of Diggs and seeing him being able to go. Because this is high metrics, guys. This is how quickly can you fire, you know, and refire. Boom. To be able to go ahead and extend completely, be able to raise the knees completely up. Look at that. Boom. Over the hurdles at the low, low level of it. So there, to me, shows there's no fear, and the stability is definitely there. It's now a matter of getting the confidence back and um, being ready to rock and roll. Because the, the problem, of course, with the cornerback is there's going to be a lot of planting and cutting. Uh, unlike this drill, this drill is just basically straight up, which is good because this is strengthening the leg. But it's a lot different when you have to plant that leg and make that move. That's when, of course, that's when you're really testing that living. But we'll see where it goes. But definitely positive news. And as always, 